Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for June 23rd, 2021. There it is. Boom. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. The way we do things will not work. The way we're used to doing things. Where, hmm, where a lot of us are heading, even as individuals, because I heard goal shifting. So again, it's this idea that the stuff you thought, that this is so important. It's so important that I, I get clarity around this. It's so important that I have materialism. It's so important that I do this, that, and the other. A lot of people are functioning from fear of not having basic human needs. Where did that come from? Sit with that. Where'd that come from? Why is housing so hard for even a middle-class person to be able to afford, much less the people who are really, really struggling? Where are they supposed to go? It's a last-ditch effort for another part of the population to control. Nothing will come of this situation. When it gets to that where you're being drained. You can't do anything without being drained, without owing, without being, I, I go on and on about this, but you know what platform I'm on and I got to be careful. We know what goes on there, right? So what this is saying, nothing will come of this situation. I feel like it's saying we are protected. We are protected in this process. And this isn't so we look at people who have a lot and go, you're terrible. I'm going to tear down what you have. Don't be stupid. Okay. Like, <laughs> if you think you're not going to get smacked right upside the head with karma for that. No. Love, peace, and harmony. And let God take care of. Let the universe take care of. Let creator take care of. Nothing's going to come of this situation because we are protected. But we have to pull our own weight. We can't just sit back and wait to be saved. We have to take care of ourselves spiritually, mentally, emotionally. If you have a pain body, where does that come from? And be gentle with yourself as you go through that. And then how can we offer that to others? Now, if we start to offer that out to others and people are getting very codependent with us, they're draining us, you're attracting in energy vampires, you set that boundary. They have to work on themselves a little bit more. You're not here to save them. I always, I'll give this quick example. There was a, a psychic reader who I was speaking with. And she was telling me, I've told this story before, so sorry for you if it's a, a repeat story. <laughs> right? But um, she was saying that she had a client call her and say, I'm, I'm five minutes down the road. I'm coming to your house right now for a reading. And she said, and I was like, okay. She stopped everything. This woman comes in all dramatic, all self-centered, all in her ego to talk about someone who had upset her or something. I don't remember what the whole thing was. But the point is that the psychic reader went, okay, I'll just... Stop letting entitled people win. You guys remember I used to talk about the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo <laughs> all the time and how I used to hang out because I love the animals. I have not been there in about a year. Why? They kept letting these entitled, like it was getting creepy almost. It, it's a great study in this where they were literally allowing the nasty people to do whatever they wanted at the expense of the people who are also visiting. And you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go too much into it, but even trying to bring it up to their administration, I saw why they behave that way because this reflected back another entitled energy. And so even there, another example of, I'm not going to partake in that. I'm not going to support that. So we need to look at the examples around you. Where do we give in to entitled people? Because we're scared of them. Because we know they're unstable. Somewhere in you, you know they're a little unstable in more extreme cases right? You know, they're really unstable. This is that kind of thing. If you've ever been, uh, again, in New York City, I was in a situation where a man was following me. He was following me home from the subway. A horrible thing had just happened to another woman a couple of weeks prior. And unfortunately, I've been in so many of those situations that I've learned to 
not inflame the person to not escalate it for survival, right? Because I can tell that it would just take a little bit of wounding this person's pride and something really horrible could happen, right? So it's that kind of thing. That's an extreme example, a true one, unfortunately, but an extreme one. That obviously is not going to be everyone's experience, but when we you got to be careful about calling out a narcissist, I guess, is what I'm getting at here, because they will freak out. They'll become unhinged. That's where you're seeing road rage and, you know, people coming after one another and all this craziness. It's going to be a delicate dance for a while as one thing starts to fall and another thing is starting to be born. And if you're listening to this video and you say, yeah, my enemies are going to fall so I can be in power. You're going to fall off the edge and you're going to fall right down with the other extreme people who are not balanced. Okay. The other polarized people. And then the ones that are right here in the middle, like kind of holding the light. That's where we are. Okay. This is what gets sustained. This over here, just like live wires all over the place. And there will be no more supply. So you will have no other choice but to figure your stuff out. Not in a manipulative kind of way, but in a healing kind of way, okay? And here in the middle, where people are actually making an effort, okay? We're making an effort to understand one another, to not just automatically come from a place of hate, out of our own fear and judgment, to guard, right? We're working on that part and being patient for when another one of these like souls come in, these feeder souls come in. And it might really trigger and you might start to get angry and you work on that. Okay. Again, this is a big conversation. We can go on and on, but I think that's enough for a daily. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.